Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a cook with me. I have not shared one of these in a very long time, so I figured I would share an easy and delicious recipe for other busy mamas such as myself. We are going to be making some garlic butter cod along with some cabbage. This recipe is so simple, yet so delicious. If it is your first time tuning in, thank you so much for joining today's video. I hope you like the video and subscribe and stick around to be a part of my YouTube fam. I'm just getting my pans ready. I'm going to turn my large skillet on about medium heat and let that heat up while I start to prepare my cabbage. I'm gonna make that first since it is so quick and easy to make. So I'm gonna just slice up my cabbage. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just cutting off all the hard parts. I just do not like those parts and I feel like they're just a little bit harder to cook down. So I'm just gonna slice it however I like peel it apart there might be so many different ways to cut cabbage along with everything else but this is just the way that I do it and I did use this whole cabbage because you got to just think it does shrink down when you cook it and what I really like about cabbage is that you don't have to add a lot of oils or anything like that because it naturally produces water when it cooks and it kind of steams itself I'm just adding about a tablespoon of oil, not too much, because like I said, you don't need to add a lot of oil to cabbage, just enough to kind of give it a little sauteed texture to it when it is cooking. So I'm just finishing slicing this up, and then I will season it. I love to have lots of flavor in my cabbage, so after it is all nice and sliced up, I'm gonna show you the seasonings that I do add into mine. Now I'm going to just add in a few seasonings. These are some of my favorite seasonings. They're not too salty and they just have a nice flavor. You guys know I love that blackened season. I literally use that on everything. And of course, I'm going to add in some minced garlic. You can do fresh, you can do minced, do whatever you want. I just do minced because it's just easier and it tastes the same to me. Now that I got my cabbage simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my cod. I am going to rinse these off, and then after I rinse these off, you do want to pat them dry. They just cook better when they are patted dry because after you rinse them off, they're gonna be wet. They're kind of already wet in the package. Rinse your meat off, don't rinse your meat off. I know that's like a huge debate on everything I always see, but patting them dry will definitely help them cook much better. Don't ask me why, I just kind of figured that out along the way. Now to season it, I'm going to use the same seasonings that I added into my cabbage. I don't use too much. You don't want it to be too salty because I am going to be making the garlic butter sauce and I feel like there's gonna be a lot of flavor there. So you don't wanna overpower the seasoning taste because then it might be a little bit too much flavor and too much saltiness.
The cabbage is cooking lovely. The smell is just amazing. I'm going to add in some fresh Italian herbs and then add in some bacon. You can fry up some bacon and throw it in or you can be like me and stick to the easier side and already get the fully cooked bacon. I just do the bacon bits and I pour it in. However much you like. I know there's a lot of bacon lovers out there. I put in a decent amount and then I'm just going to let that simmer and cook and the flavor. Fresh bacon will definitely give you a lot of flavor, just like that bacon grease. But again, if you're like me and you want to just do something that's a little bit more easier and convenient for a fast meal, definitely do your fully cooked bacon bits. Now cod can be pretty tricky to cook. I feel like you can easily overcook this and you can also easily undercook it. I cook it on the first side for about five minutes, I wanna say, and then you're gonna go ahead and flip it. You want to have it kind of have that flakiness, not too much. If you start to see that it's flaking, go ahead and flip it over and give it that nice like golden brown color. My cabbage is looking so good, you guys, this smoke. I just smelled mm, delish. It was the bomb. When I see that my cod is starting to flake and get nice and fluffy, I'm going to go ahead and take it out and set it to the side because now you're going to start making your garlic butter sauce. This is my favorite part. This gives this cod a lot of flavor. Cod can taste very fishy. So this garlic butter sauce is going to be what takes the cod to the next level and give it all of that delicious flavor. I added in a couple tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt and then add in some minced garlic along with some fresh herbs. Now that your cod is cooking in the sauce, you're gonna start just grabbing a spoon and pouring it over the cod, letting that flavor soak through and cook down into it. It is so good, you guys. This is one of my favorite cod recipes. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I will link it. Of course, you guys know, I always tweak things to my liking, so I don't always follow everything to the T. You're gonna do what works best for you change things around try new flavors it's your kitchen it's your meal do what makes your heart happy and gives you all that flavor this meal is so easy so fast and yet so delicious i highly recommend that you try this and if you have not made cabbage before do not be scared cabbage is literally one of the simplest things to ever make going to sum up today's video i'm going to dive into dinner it was so good you guys so simple so delicious so much flavor if you guys want to see more cooking videos i do have some more videos upcoming i know a lot of you love when i share my cooking videos i love to cook you just know that i have some pretty picky kids so it's always hard to find what they will eat and not waste food because I have to be very mindful of that because food is very expensive. But I always try to share delicious and easy recipes that you and your family will enjoy. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.